Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think this is? Is it a plant that's green? Oh, uh, try it. Mm, has a nice, beautiful, sweet smell to it. You have a licorice anise kind of flavor, which is beautiful. And it gets rid of your bad breath, too. And it kills off the bacteria that, that cause bad breath, so... <laughs> what more could you ask for? They're really good. This is tarragon. And tarragon, tarragon is a wonderful cooking herb, and also it's a medicinal herb also. And I, I want to talk about a lot more of these cooking medicinal herbs all that you have in your ki kitchen cabinet, you know what I mean? And Because it's really important that we allow ourselves to heal in a powerful way and find healing, which is inexpensive. You don't have to have a lot of uh, herbs and, you know, think that it's important to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. You might already have it, you know? And tarragon is also Artemisa uh, drach drachinulus. Uh, it came from Siberia. The, uh, the mongrels used it uh, for all kinds of different things. And it was kind of has a licorice anise flavor, like I said, and it's been around for thousands of years. It finally came to France in uh, about 600 years ago, and it was brought to there by uh, uh, St. Catherine of Siena. And uh, they started using it in, in all kinds of culinary dishes. And Hippocrates talked about it as one of the most important herbs around. So I think that's really great. And also the Roman soldiers used it, uh, put it in their shoes to fight off fatigue. And they would absorb it into their feet because it kind of picks up your metabolism. And and like, fresh, like I said, fresh, French cooking has been using it for a long, long time. It protects the intestinal mucosa of the intestines, you know, the, the lining of your gut. And uh, because we have so much in the way of onslaught of chemicals in our food and everything, this is really, really important. And it has a lot of zinc also, which helps to repair the intestinal lining. And so, boy, well, I can't say more about that. It's a good source of iron and uh, absorbable iron too. And this is really important. And a lot of times you have iron, but it's not absorbable. And also, it's an antifungal agent. If you have fungus growing on your skin, or if you have fungus in a, you know, internally, you know, taking it internally will help a lot. Also, it's rich in vitamin A and vitamin C, which are great antioxidants, and we'll get into that a little bit more. And it helps to pr protect the eyes also from uh, uh, macular degeneration. So you have great eyesight until you're very, very old. It improves blood flow throughout the body. I mean, this is really important. And if you have poor circulation, you might want to try some good old tarragon. I mean, a lot of play times, a lot of people don't think about tarragon as improving, you know, circulation. It eliminates lots of toxin, especially uric acid in the body, and helps to detox the liver. Uh, it can also help with dementia and help to prevent dementia and uh, prevent the decline of the memory in general. And it also has a lot of B12. If you're a vegan like me and you want a B12, uh, you can get some B12 out of this also and helps to protect the nervous system. It's really good. It has lots of B6 in it, uh, which is important for the nervous system also and, and also helps to restore and protect cognitive function. It has magnesium and manganese in it, which are also help with uh, muscle relaxants, as a muscle relaxant, especially in magnesium, and prevents muscle cramps. If you ever had those crank grabbing calf cramps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are terrible, I'm telling you. This can help in a great way to prevent that. It also helps calcium and phosphorus to prevent osteoporosis and have strong bones all your life. It also helps with the absorption of creatinine. And so you have strong, powerful muscles and helps to build more muscle also.
It's a soothing for the GI tract. If you have gas or bloating, you have uh, a stomach ache, you have hiccups, uh, you just don't feel like eating and that type of thing, just taking some tarragon on a regular basis will help in general. It reduces inflammation. Now, if you have a lot of inflammation going on, this is a great way to do it. It helps with arthritis, joint pain, muscular pain, and, and more redness, swelling, that type of thing. So it's another way to get rid of some of the things that we normally take for granted in a little tiny plant. <laughs> it prevents the aggregation of platelets to the, that would cause you to have a heart attack, you know? So that's another thing too, which is really, really great. It's full of antioxidants, phenolic compounds. It has an ORAC rating of 15,000 plus, which is a really high. And it contains a lot of superoxidase dismutase, which is one of the most powerful uh, antioxidants the body, body has in general. It contains, like I said, calcium for strong bones, mag manganese for uh, enzyme production, iron and copper for anemia, uh, potassium and zinc, uh, potassium for your heart contractions and zinc for immune function, protein for building strong muscles and cholesterol. It's cholesterol free too. It's used in cosmetics and soaps and so it's used in a lot of different things in the way of beauty aid. So another great thing. <laughs> it's a wonderful diuretic. If you have a lot of water weights, maybe it's, you know, you have uh, that time of the month and you're bloating up with water, try taking some tarragon. Maybe a little tarragon tea will help greatly. Also, like I said, it helps with bad breath. If you just take and chew on a little bit of tarragon, your bad breath will be gone. and It'll kill the bacteria causing the bad breath also. And it reduces body odor. If you take some of the essential oil, and dilute it with a little bit of uh, like sesame oil or some other carrier oil, or like 10 to 1, and then use it under your arms. It kills the bacteria and reduces body odor. Wow, really great. And also, you know, making tea, uh, it's really easy to do. You take one tablespoon of the fresh or dried herb, and you put it in a cup, add a bo some boiling water, let it steep for 15 minutes and drink that, you know, a couple times a day or a couple times a week. Uh, it's not something you want to take on a regular basis, but it will also help with sleep. And it's very calming and helps with stress and anxiety. And you, you can't sleep at night. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> uh, then you might want to take some tarragon, you know. And it also lowers some blood sugar, uh, which is if you have diabetes or you're pre-diabetic and you're, you know, over 120 or 130 on your blood sugar, you want to drop that down, it makes a huge difference. Uh, also, in, in France, they use tarragon tea for sleeping on a regular basis. It's really common there, and uh, it's just part of life there. Cardiovascular issues, it helps to prevent blood clots and strokes and heart attacks. It kills staph and E. coli infections, so that's a huge thing. There was a 2012 study showing that it killed dangerous bacteria in the body, and, uh, and it's a natural preservative for food, and that's why they use it in cheese and different types of food. So if you're trying to preserve food, this is, tarragon is the one thing you can use. It also has, like I said, a lot of free antioxidants who gets rid of free radicals in the body. So free radicals cause disease, so we want to get rid of those. <laughs> like I said, it helps with insomnia. If you have, you know, your periods have just stopped and you're not happening for you, it, this will pick it up and start your periods again. It also helps with PMS, you know, the, the process, your monthly process, uh, if you have, you know, bloating, if you have uh, anxiety, those type of things going on with that, you might want to try some of this also. Great for toothache. Some of the essential oil, dilute a little bit with carrier oil like 
sesame seed, put it on your gums, and it's an anesthetic. It helps just very similar to um, what would happen with clove oil, very similar. Also, it can be used as a, a massage oil, diluted for about one to 10, that 10 carrier oil, one part tarragon oil, and then do a massage with that, oh, very soothing. Hot compresses with the uh, oil also, and three or four drops in your bath is no better way to feel more relaxed, soothing, and calm than to have a bath with some tarragon oil. Wow. You can get it fresh in the grocery stores and dried in the, uh, you know, all your uh, area where you can find all your dried herbs, uh, all your seasonings and that type of thing. It's also, you can get it as essential oil and in capsules. Uh, you can make the tea, like I said, with uh, fresh or dried herbs. You can find it in supermarkets, it's in health food stores, on Amazon and eBay and all these different places. Uh, I think it's one of these things that should be used, you know, a couple times a week. It's not something that can be used every single day. And it's very safe. It's used in moderation in normal amounts, like in used in food and cooking and for a tea once in a while. Uh, it should not be used by those who are pregnant or breastfeeding or those who... Uh, I have small children. Small children is not a good idea. And it will start your period, so it's one of those things you have to look out for also. If you have allergic reactions, a lot of allergic reactions, you might want to take and put a little test on your palm here or your, your wrist and uh, see how it reacts. Take a little bit of carrier oil with the um, tarragon oil and rub some on there and see if you have a reaction. Some people do once in a great while. Most people don't. So, and it's another thing to heal with great food. I think it's one of the best way to heal in general. And I recommend that you go to my website, paulhater.com, and look at my, my diet up in the right-hand corner near testimonials. And follow that diet and lifestyle exactly and you're going to become extremely healthy and start feeling great you know i had high blood pressure i was really overweight and you know when i started my diet i had prostate disease and on and on and on uh, arthritis for 30 years it all disappeared in three weeks on my diet i can guarantee you it's going to help you in the same kind of way we need to get away from all animal products. Animal products create a trimethyl inoxide toxin, which starts the uh, inflammation process in the body, which starts the diseases, and which causes kidney disease, liver disease, you know, heart attacks and arthritis, and on and on and on. So this is really, really, really important. I feel that we can prevent and most of the modern diseases which we have, we start going on a diet like mine. And I like to hear from you as far as, you know, your healing process on that. Take a before and after picture, it'd be great. And uh, it's about allowing yourself to be free. And you're gonna drop a lot of weight. I dropped 40 pounds in three weeks and you're gonna be feeling good. And it's important to eat organic. I'm, I'm telling you, I was just talking to with a lady who was 102, and she's a health food nut, and she does, still does push-ups and sit-ups and walks by herself, and she has beautiful teeth. She's, one of the things she said was, I, well, I love to brush my teeth. I brush my teeth three times a day, and you could tell, you know, I know a lot of people in their 20s that don't have teeth that look as good. <laughs> and also, uh, she eats organic on a regular basis all the time. And so she is in great shape. I mean, amazed. I was amazed. I thought she was in her 60s, but she's 102. I was like, wow, that's a testament to, you know, eating organic and eating a plant-based diet. And she's been a vegan all her life. I mean, 102 and looking super that's amazing. So you can do this. There's no doubt about it. So if you would uh, like to subscribe, we greatly appreciate that. If you want to get a hold of me, all my con consults are free. And uh, my phone number and email and everything is down below. Just click on Show More. 
and I would love to help you in any shape, way, or form that I can. And if you care to uh, make a donation, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. But most of all, remember, above everything else, I love you.